Hey guys, Rob out here at I'm always in hotwater.com and boats in hotwater.com. And I I got something. I know this is going to sound crazy, uh, but you know, kind of nice and a great little buy if anybody's looking to get on the water. And I usually don't take on a lot of these smaller smaller older boats. Uh, but this was a referral from one of my friends, and um, actually I'm quite impressed. I'm not trying to put a lipstick on a pig here, but I will tell you um, that this boat's kind of impressive for the model make in year. This is a 1989 Bayliner 1902 Capri. Now, I have a 1950 Capri without the Cuddy. That's a 97 and I have 2,000 hours on that inboard outboard motor and I'm very happy with the Bale Island brand to tell you the truth although my floor is getting a little soft but this one here is in nice condition and the, when I'm saying nice condition remember we're talking a 30 year old vessel and uh, trailers in nice shape galvanized trailer which is good for these smaller boats that way you don't float at the ramp trying to get back on and exterior hull uh, you know I don't have any complaints Overall, it's maintained its color. Um, it's been very well taken care of. This has only been a two-owner vessel uh, since it was purchased. Obviously, this is the second owner, and he's had it for years. He's just getting out of boating, and um, he has maintained it uh, for its light use. Uh, in the pictures, you can see, actually, there's a cover on top of the actual canvas and cover, which is in nice shape. It could use a little bit of a cleaning, but overall... Um, you know, you're good to go. It has a uh, Mercury Force. Uh, most of you know I'm not a huge fan of Mercury, but Mercury's a good motors. But uh, the Force is one of those that holds up pretty well. And it's a 125 Force. Um, even the exterior cowling is great. I like how here, I haven't seen one of these in a while, the uh, tilt and trim motor. And usually those things are just rusted out and shot. Um, by now, but that thing looks like it was just recently replaced. This motor was actually just run by through Matthews Marine. Uh, I didn't get the compression numbers. They said it had real good compression and uh, they just put a brand new starter on it. So it's a one battery boat and there's a second battery that goes with it. And let's just take a quick look around this side. You know, this one's kind of a no-brainer if you're looking at it, especially for the price that's going to be up. Um, you know, nobody's trying to um, you know, make a mint here. Not even me. Let's just take a quick look up here. Bow rail looks great. Um, just, you know, nice. Just a nice boat. Nice 30-year-old boat. Very well maintained. Uh, as far as compression goes, if you're really stressed out, and in fact, while we're down here, why don't we just do this? I can show you how clean the motor is. Uh, won't take... I have no problem compression testing it on site. All I gotta do is pull the plugs. You gotta turn the key, and that's about it. But, you know, simple motor, 125 horsepower, clean. You guys can see, it's just a clean motor. Fresh. Once again, I'm not trying to overstate anything. I'm just saying it is what it is. And you got to remember, I walk in boats this front of this old, and I definitely, you know, whew, they're kind of a nightmare. Now, walking into the vessel... Um, overall, I've actually stomped through it. You got a solid floor. Um, I got no soft spots. From what I can tell, obviously, you can see there's some coming up of the carpet. I mean, it's 30-year-old carpet. If you want, put some new carpet in it or put some tile techs or something along that line. All right, let me just shoot up in here. It's got a nice, and it's clean, uh, nice, clean, cutty cabin area. If you want to tuck the kids in, it's sandbar. Um, I mean, it's clean. This, I mean, this interior carpet, I mean, that can't be the original. It's just, it looks nice. But overall, let me just, and it is big in here. I'm not kidding you guys. I'm six foot and I'm all the way up. I'm not even up at the bow yet. And you guys can see. So, I mean, nice cutty cabin. I know. Let me just back out of here now. Just, uh, you know, I think this is a good buy. I mean, obviously, a lot of people, they're not interested in a cutty boat. And, uh, you know, for me, I would definitely, you know, pull off this piece with the zipper. 
Um, so I'm riding. I can I can't sit in behind this windshield unless I'm in a 38 foot cabin cruiser. The canvas goes all the way to the back of the boat and snaps on. All the snaps are in place. As far as the seats go, you know they are in. You know the condition is you would a better condition as I would expect for a 30 year old boat. I mean you got some drying out and stuff like that, but you know I just throw towels over it. My boat this 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 is luxury compared to my bay liner. So I'm just going to give you guys just a quick little look. It's a nice little boat. Nice little catch. Let's just take a quick look right here. So you guys can see. You know. Uh, let's pop up over here. Kind of <laughs> a little different. You drive up and down is right here to that motor. And this Hummingbird Helix 5 is only about 18 months old. So let me just check something real quick. Yep, bilge pump just kicked on. And we have working anchor and navs, which are external anyway. Uh, obviously, the horn's not... Oh, excuse me, the horn is working. Wow. So that's happening. So overall, I don't know. I hope you guys like it. Seller wants just the boat gone. He's getting out of boating. There's your lights and some poles for your covers. A lot of extra parts with it. Second owner. Overall, just nice, nice boat. Shoot, even this trailer looks like it's got lights on the guide poles. I might just pick this boat up for myself. Just to goof around in the winter. Turn it into a little fishing boat. So anyway, there you have it. Um, for a 30-year-old boat, a pretty clean Bayliner 1902 Capri that actually still has a working horn. <laughs> this spare tires tires look good on the on this one this one looks like it's you know coming down a little bit but it's a nice little spare but i don't think for what we're going to ask for the boat um anybody's really going to have any complaints this is real simple you want a compression test we hit the water bring cash you can drive away clean titles um simple sale so anyway, that'll about do it. Rob out here at I'mAlwaysInHotWater.com with a 1989 Bayliner 1902 Capri Cuddy with a 1988 Mercury Force 125 um, that's pretty clean as well. So that'll about do it. Rob out here at I'mAlwaysInHotWater.com wishing you guys a great and safe boating day. Rob signing off.